up? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to a ni- another exciting <laughs> episode of What the Fuck. So I have my two slash apparently three guests with me. Two and a half. Two and a half. She only counts as a half. Um, I'm gonna the hookah down. The hookah is gonna be okay. So, we have Princess Bubblegum. Say hi. Hi. We have Casey. Who... Thank you. You didn't say the first word. I appreciate it. <laughs> I thought you were gonna ruin it for yourself. And, I was and we have... Um... <laughs> Lauren serenading us in the background. Is that what you want to be called? Is Lauren? Harley? We have Harley Mother. serenading us in the... Uh... The, the background and might occasionally lead her own credence into the so last time we talked about how retarded Christians were I hope you enjoyed that uh, today we're gonna be uh, slamming on you know romantics and love because why not Valentine's Day is right around the corner and fuck love I like love and we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll have you know the bubblegum princess trying to serenade us with things of hope and a uh, Fairy Love tale. is for people Joy. who don't want to be lonely. I don't want to be lonely. And then we have the it's depressing true. Casey that's going to be fucking making us want to slit our wrists. <laughs> so, stay tuned for an exciting fucking episode. Alrighty, let's get this shit started. Have you what it could be like? <laughs> yes, you can have some of the hookah. Okay, so, with Valentine's... Love right- stinks! Yeah, yeah! Right. We're not going to get shit accomplished. <laughs> This is a good breakup song. <laughs> so, so, with Valentine's Day right around the corner, many of you were, you know, searching for the perfect gift for your um, significant other so that you can get some poontang later on that night. Poon-tang. And uh, hey, it's still a relevant term. <laughs> I thought it was kind of... Never mind, just keep going. So, um, yeah, yeah. we should get into the depths of what love really is because some people look at it scientifically and say that it's just nothing more than you know a chemical reaction in the brain or a mass of uh, eating chocolate some people say that it's cuddling up and watching the notebook with a significant fairy tale uh, Prince Charming that like you know goes and buys you tampons and all types of shit when you're on your menstrual cycle and just always knows how to read your mind hey hey why can't why are we talking about there's women and men here I'm, I'm gay I said significant other. <laughs> but you said he buys tampons. Maybe she buys tampons too. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Questions. Did not mean to offend all the, the fucking lesbians. lesbians that are going to be watching this. <laughs> she might be buying tampons and chocolate for you as well. Maybe, maybe you know, you um, you know, are Mormon and have a bunch oh, of God. sister wives and... That's what love is for you, or maybe you're a Christian and believe that, you know, there's a mythical man in the sky that... We already did that. Okay. Let's <laughs> not go into this. So, not. whatever your take on what love is... What is love? Baby, don't, don't hurt, hurt me. me. <laughs> don't hurt me. No more. Whatever it is, you got to agree that there are three things about love that just make you look batshit crazy. Yeah, and I that's know what we're gonna. Obsessed. I was drunk my whole last relationship. I was stoned, all of it, every single minute. I, was I just have a normal relationship. <laughs> I don't know. Normal relationship. The three things of Americans fucking in relationships <laughs> right now. I was stoned throughout my whole relationship. I was drunk. I I'm normal. It was either we got stoned or we didn't have sex. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, dude, I know You know this lesbians. is going up on YouTube, yeah, right? I don't give a shit. That's okay. I know two lesbians that used to get fucked up on pills just to have sex because they couldn't I have sex sober. Yeah. Me. Sorry I, I, if you know watching. me and Oopsie. you know that I'm talking about you, but I really don't give a shit. Skeleton just came out the closet. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Don't give a so, shit. So, any whore. Okay, we've been, like, three minutes. We need to, like... Yeah. Debate. Anyway, and shit. for real, this time. So. This is not Ellen DeGeneres having a talk show. Ellen DeGeneres <laughs> is hot, though. Eh. Oh, I mean, nah, never mind. I'm not gonna say anything. Okay. Anyway. So, um, love does make you an insane motherfucker. It's yeah. kind of like an addictive drug. One of the most uh-huh. addictive drugs that you'll ever be on. Yeah. And because of that, you do things like Facebook stalk, uh, like some... Hack into pe- their profiles and their accounts and... That does bugging. happen. 
do drugs for them, run off with them, and fucking dye their hair for them. What else do you have? Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm, <laughs> Let's thing. talk about oh, no. how, you know, about six, kung fu fights. <laughs> Let's talk about how I spent $16,000 on drugs because of love. How about that one? I don't condone this, and I told her not to, but the bitch never listens to me. The drugs Ever. were good, and so is the pussy. What We've known each other for six years, and the bitch does not listen to me. Continue. So, therefore, obviously, from just some of these uh, instances, I don't know if you watching agree with this, or if you're just, like, looking at the chick on my right and being like, oh, she's cute, and the chick on my left and be like, oh, she's funny, and the chick that's in the fucking corner that you can't see and be like, that bitch is insane. <laughs> but whatever the case is... They never say that when they Sorry. Say that whatever the case is, you have to agree that love does make everyone crazy to some yes. extent. That's true. And I'm full-blown. It's, and it's the it's only not. time that you can actually be crazy without being prescribed pills. It's, like, really weird in that sense. Because a schizophrenic person talks to themselves and Which, like, they need fucking medication. You talk to yourself because you're so angry with your significant other that you're just like, oh, she makes me so mad! And you're talking to yourself full on. They're like, oh, he's in love. It's nothing. So, yeah. Um, there's the people that go to a mental hospital after they try to kill themselves because they get broken up with. Oh, I mean, oh, I technically I mean, broke up with her, but I never get broken up with. So this is like the this side this over is here, the crazy, the, side the crazy of love. negative side, and we're just the realist. I leave them before I get left, and then they get really mad at me. Good, that's how you should do it. So some of us do that way. Some of us try and stick through the whole relationship and yeah, actually like good. try and make it, and some of us just are happy with masturbation and staying away from fucking people. <laughs> Why don't we talk about like love? When we, like, first meet someone and we're, like, we're really digging them and then, uh, like, we're yes. falling in love, the honeymoon stage. Oh, the oh, honeymoon, the honeymoon stage. stage. Oh, the we, best Oh, stage. when a moon hits you, I like a big pizza pie, then you're batshit crazy. Sex, like, every single day. Like, every single like, day. Like, four, four times or day. five times a day. Four, yeah. times, four or five times. Nymphos. Nymphos all around. Sure. Fucking, um, but, yes, the honeymoon phase. Sex the, on the roof. No. <laughs> that doesn't have to be the honeymoon phase. Because then, like, people would come outside and they'd be like, why are these people fucking on that roof? I why not? It's private property. I fucked everywhere from under a bridge to a park in public. You were How about a movie slide? theater? That was fun. I have That's fucked inside so of a movie theater. No, it's or a Victoria's <laughs> Secret um, fucking dressing room. I'm sure lots of people have done that. Oh, Is moving it? train. That's my next one. Who the fuck are you gonna. Okay. But the we'll honeymoon phase. <laughs> The honeymoon phase. Now, here's some things that will help you if you are currently going through the honeymoon Nothing. stage. Now, some general things that usually happen in the honeymoon stage. You constantly think about the person to the point ad nauseum. You constantly talk to the, about the person to other people ad nauseum. You constantly talk about the cute things that they do or the text messages that it's you get. Obsession. It is called obsession. Exactly. So, Everyone goes through it. So my my uh, prescription for people like that is to remember that you are in a fresh, new, beautiful, blossoming thing, but it could go wrong. A healthy dose of skepticism is always good. And you're what also I personally your own do, person. What I personally do is listen to I Don't Fuck With You, because that, for some reason, just always gets me in a mind state where, like, you know... I, I can deal with a person and be like, oh, yeah, that's right. You'll fuck me over at some point, possibly. Cool. Do you have uh, any tips for people in the honeymoon phase? Yeah, you've almost been with someone for two years, so come on. Um, Just putting her on a blast like that. Damn, yeah. they get like shit. Um, um, try to spend time with your friends because I'm really bad about that. I've been neglecting I her. I am too, um, then. Get so. condoms, because, you know, honey, sex. <laughs> Lesbians don't condoms. use condoms. I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> okay, so, me. so you're saying bros before hoes. Not necessarily bros before hoes, but, like, make, like, set times where you're, like, for sure going to see your friends, and then, like, set times not just where you're... Why does it look like you're, like, Not just stay for dick. five <laughs> minutes and then leave. <laughs> stay for five minutes and stare at the wall and then leave. <laughs> Chelsea, because I talk with my hands. Bubblegum oh Princess. Bubblegum Princess. Bubblegum Princess. Remember the fucking name. And I'm Crazy Casey. What are you trying to tell me? We okay. didn't say you were Crazy Casey you this time. You ruined it for yourself. 
Continue, Bubblegum Princess. But yeah, like, have, like, set days for, like, your friends, and then have set times to be with your significant other, because some people are gay, so we want to be politically correct. <laughs> <laughs> because PC is always important on these talk shows. Yep. And, yeah, I don't know. Just Our balance is really important. Yeah. What about you, Crazy Casey? What do you think about the honeymoon phase? I mean, I'm technically kind of going through it right now. Then you are the best equipped for what not to do in the honeymoon phase. Please explain. Don't that. obsessively text them. No. Do not do that. Like, if they don't reply for five hours, then just don't let them reply for five hours. It's just as easy as that. But... Either if you've met the person already, or if you haven't met them, you gotta talk up some game, though. You gotta talk up some fucking game, because if you don't, then you don't know if you have that person. You also, everyone our age is just going out and trying to fuck everyone, and blah, 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 blah. So why don't you take sex slow for once, and maybe your relationship won't only last fucking seven months, because my relationship that was for seven months was based off of sex. Okay. And where did that go? We'll, 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 we'll end it right there for part two. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> talk. I'm done. Good points, good points all around. Uh, stay tuned for part two. Oh, geez.